Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to your first lesson on PHP programming. And what we're going to do today is set up your programming environment. So let's first talk about what is PHP. PHP is a server-side scripting language, and it's a language which responds to events. And unlike uh, C++ or another language, it doesn't have to be compiled. It just runs as is on the server. So basically, you just create some code, and through the use of PHP tag, your server knows, hey, that needs to be processed and it processes tags, inputs and outputs, talks to databases, and creates web pages. So it's very interesting and very useful. If you're going to learn a server-side scripting language, learn PHP. Now I mentioned that PHP only runs on a server. So in order to write and run PHP on your local machine, the PC that you're working on now, you need to set up a server, a local server on your machine. And I've actually shown you how to do that in an earlier video. So I had a five series videos earlier on my YouTube called SQL Database and Flash Builder 1 through 5. Now, in this series, we'll be using both HTML and Flash Builder for output. But uh, specifically, you want to go to that second video right here, and you want to watch that. That's going to show you how to set up WAMP. And you would set up MAMP and WAMP similarly. What are WAMP? WAMP means Window, Apache, MySQL, PHP. And LAMP means Linux, and MAMP means Mac. So go ahead and watch that video and get your production environment all set up and come back to this series and you'll be ready to start programming PHP. Now there's two files I actually want you to throw into your uh, root folder of your WAMP, MAP, or LAMP server. So let's first go and take a look at that root folder. So I'm down here in my Windows Vista icon. I'm going to click on uh, Computer and I'm going to want to go to where my WAMP server is installed and I'll go to the local drive and what we see right here is a, the WAMP folder and if you remember in the installation uh, process there's no real installation you just unzip it and drop it somewhere I just dropped it right here on my C drive let's click on that and in the WAMP folder you want to go to your root folder that's where your PHP is going to run www and what I want you to do is to go in there and create a folder where you're going to keep all your PHP files and run this course and I called mine a PHP course you might just want to call yours the same thing because uh, you're going to get an A in this course and because A brings it kind of to the top. Now I'm running a lot of programs here, but kind of to the top so you can actually uh, know where it's at. But that's not the most efficient thing you want to do. I'm going to show you another trick, but make sure that whenever you write PHP code that you're putting it in this folder on your WAMP server. So once again, let's take a look at that address. I'm in WAMP. I'm in my www folder I'm in a PHP folder which I've created and all of my PHP code is going to go into there and it will run from there now there's a trick you can do to actually make this a lot easier because I don't have to open up this folder every time so right click on your PHP folder that you created and just create a shortcut and then drag that shortcut to your desktop Now I got a lot of icons on my desk and believe it or not these are icons from just a week of work I have to clean my desktop off about every week. And just drag that and drop that folder right onto your desktop. I've already got it there, so I won't do that. And when you do that, you can click on that and open it up, and all those folders that are on your WAMP server will appear. And so from here, you can actually do all your programming and, and coding, and so you don't have to go to the, uh, basically to the root folder every time. It's right here in your shortcuts. So make sure you create that shortcut folder on your desktop. So just to make this clear, here's a PHP uh, course on my WAMP server but I've actually put it on my desktop as a shortcut so make sure you create that shortcut so when you click on it you can do all your programming here this will make your life ten times easier so go ahead and get your production environment set up and we'll be ready to start programming next time thanks for listening this was Mike Lively